Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be making a face mask with a PM 2.5 filter. It fits great with glasses and also comes with an option for an eye guard. We're going to be showing you how to make this as a tie back and an elastic back. And like always, the link for the pattern is in the description. Getting started with supplies, you need a quarter yard of tightly woven fabric like cotton. And you also need a quarter yard of soft cotton for lining. Extra wide double fold bias tape. You can also make this yourself or just buy it pre-made. Eighth inch braided elastic if you choose to do the elastic back. Parachute cord or shoelace if you choose to do the second option of tie back. One twist tie or coated wire. Clear plastic and this can be picked up in packs of 25. A PM 2.5 filter and this is going to go in the mask at the end. And lastly your pattern and this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com. They're super easy to use, all you have to do is print it, cut it and you're ready to go. And everything will be linked down in the description from the supplies to the pattern. After cutting you're going to want to end up with one main panel, cut on the fold. Two bottom chin panels, one out of your outer layer and one out of your lining. Two nose panels, one out of your outer layer and one out of your lining. One center lining panel, also cut on the fold. Two lining side panels. and one visor panel if you choose to add the visor to your mask. Moving on to construction, grab your center lining panel. We're gonna hem the edges by rolling the side over, pinning it down, and stitch it along that edge. And we're gonna be stitching as close as we can to the outside edge. Grab your lining side panels and we're gonna do the same thing. Roll over the edges as indicated on the pattern Pin the hem down and stitch as close as you can to the outside edge. Grab the center lining panel and your side lining panels and as indicated on your side lining panels, we're going to place the center lining panels over those marks. A quick way to check to see if you have it lined up correctly is look at the bottom and the top and make sure they're lined up flush. Pin the panels into position and we're going to do a tack stitch at each corner. And another quick tip, you can always take the main outer panel, lay it over top and make sure it lines up perfectly. And this stitch is going to be done as close as you can to the edge. Grab your lining chin panel and with the center notch, line it up to the center notch in your lining main panel. And you're going to pin that chin panel along the bottom edge. And now that the chin panel is pinned into position, you're going to sew at a quarter inch seam allowance. Grab the outer layer chin panel and we're going to do the exact same thing with the main panel. Line up the notches, pin it into position and sew at a quarter inch. Next we're going to grab both layers of the nose panel, place the wrong sides together. Make sure you snip the bottom notch that is indicated on the pattern. And we're going to be adding the double fold bias tape to that top flat edge. And if you're using pre-made, you just put it right on the edge and sew it on. And this is a really quick, easy method. The second method is to make your own bias tape with the bias making kit. It comes with a bunch of different size folders for whatever size you choose to use and also a binding presser foot so it's super easy to sew on. 
And if you're using this method, cut your bias tape strip to the size folder you choose. Feed the strip through the folder and iron it as it comes out the other end. And as you can see, it's rolling over both the edges as it's coming out, so it's creating that double fold bias tape. And this is another great technique if you're trying to match all the fabric on the mask. And the third technique is to use a double fold bias tape binder attachment. This will fold it and sew it on at the same time. And once you have the bias tape sewn on, go ahead and grab your twist tie or any small bendy piece of metal and slide it into that bias tape. This is going to allow you to bend it around your nose for a secure, comfortable fit. Moving on, grab your main outer layer and your lining. We're going to place the wrong sides together and line up the notch at the top and also the bottom chin. And once you have it all lined up, go ahead and throw a few pins in so that way it doesn't move around. Grab your nose panel and line it up with the center of your main panel and make sure the right sides of the lining layers are together. And once you have the notch lined up, go ahead and pin from the center towards the outside. This will help keep everything centered. And once you have it pinned down, we're going to go ahead and sew along that top edge as close as you can to the edge. And the reason we're sewing as close as we can to the outside edge is because we want our bias tape to cover that stitch. The next step is adding bias tape to both top and bottom edges. And if you're choosing to use cord or elastic as the option to secure onto your face, you're only going to want to go edge to edge with the bias tape. The third option is to use the bias tape as the tie itself and you're going to want to extend it out about 10 to 11 inches. You'll want to start it about 10 to 11 inches out as well and this will give you enough room to tie it around the back of your head. Giving yourself a little bit more will also give you the option to snip down afterwards. And then go ahead and repeat the process for the other edge. And if you choose this method, I recommend serging or bias taping the raw edges on the side. I think this is a quick and easy solution if you can't seem to find cord or elastic. To finish off the ties, all you have to do is roll over the edge twice and add a tack stitch. He seems kind of helpless. Helplessness is the last thing I am looking Next, we're going to show you how to use the cord and the elastic. And at this point, I'd like to do a quick check to make sure all the seams are sewed together and there's no layers open. I like to serge the raw edges. I highly recommend doing this. And if you don't have a serger, you can also use a zigzag stitch. This will clean up the edges and prevent fraying. Using the cord and the elastic, the cord you're going to want to cut at about 24 inches and the elastic you're going to want to cut at about 11 to 12 inches. You're going to want to place it on the inside as close as you can to the edge and roll it over. And what you're doing is hemming that edge with a cord on the inside. And when you go to sew that edge, just make sure that you don't sew over the cord. And if you choose this method, it's going to be the same as the bias tape ties. It's going to go around your head and tie in the back. And cutting the cord at 24 inches will allow you to trim it down to the perfect fit. And you can really use any type of cord for this technique. Just make sure that it fits around your head. What's your answer? You take my breath away. No, oh, it's just the sudden realization you see here of the fact that, that I love you. And the final method is using the elastic and it's going to be done the same way. Roll it over and make sure you don't stitch on the elastic. And the elastic will be going around your ears, so you're going to want to tie a knot on each side. Trim up the ends sticking out of the knot, and then you're going to go ahead and slide that knot on the inside of that hem.
And if you're making these for other people and don't know their size, you can use elastic cord stoppers so that way you can adjust that elastic and it will fit everyone. If you're just making the face mask and not adding the visor, you can go ahead and add your PM 2.5 filter into the pocket and your mask is complete. Moving on to the eye guard, we're going to take the eye guard and bias tape along the top edge. Mark the center on the bottom edge of your visor and also mark the center on your face mask. Line up the centers by placing the visor on the inside of that bias tape. And it's hard to pin this material on, you can always use tape or clips. And once you have it lined up, the bottom edge of that visor should go to the bottom edge of the bias tape and you're going to sew directly onto the bias tape. And this visor panel will also come in different sizes so that way if you want a shorter version that's totally possible. Or you can go ahead and trim it to the exact measurements you want, it's super easy as long as you have the same width you'll be totally fine. And if you're looking for these already made, we will be offering them on our site, so check out the link in the description. And that will complete your mask. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. If you have any other video ideas, feel free to send them our way. And we're going to keep the videos coming at you, so we'll see you next time. Oh,